Hey there everyone, Hadesh here and welcome to the fresh series on Sketch. So I have just finished up some of my client's work which was a whole coding work. It really got me there and I just wanted to have some free time with me. So what's the better way of having some free time and utilize it by making some more videos for you guys. So in the upcoming few video series, we're going to have some fun with Sketch. Design is something which is so much fun for me. I love designing uh, the icons and some of the app screens. This is like all fun part for me. So in the upcoming few video series, expect in the upcoming videos that we will be playing around with the sketch. So let me just open that up and without talking further, let's go ahead and have some fun with sketch. You're gonna be learning some of the nice tricks on the sketch and we'll be designing some of the assets that all of you can use absolutely for free. This is all fun stuff. Just to get started before we go ahead, this is the sketch website where I'll be using the sketch. It's a paid product, but I'm not promoting them at all. If you like that, you can buy it, but it's a really industry's favorite. So this is the sketch app. You'll be needing that. And yeah, sadly, it's only available for the Mac guys only. I will also be using a plugin by Envision, which is Craft. I will not be using it much, but since it's installed on my sketch, I thought a lot of you might be asking, hey, what is that installed? So let me just take that down first of all. So it's gonna be available at the top here. You can just turn on all the things and just it just works like that. So there we go, that's it. So what we'll be doing in this particular video, in this particular video, I'll walk you through with a couple of good, awesome icons, and we're gonna have so much fun with that, okay. So this is going to be our screen and we'll be designing all of this. And notice the craft is actually this only bar which comes up here. So how we're gonna proceed? We're gonna be designing these two icons and you'll be learning some of the ins and outs of the sketch, some neat tricks. I have a lot of tricks and I am ready to share it with you. In case your top bar doesn't look like me, so what you can do is you can right click and click on customize toolbar. Let's just say your, tool, your toolbar doesn't have this rotate copies. So you want to have it. You want to make your toolbar look like exactly like me. So you can just take this rotate copies, find all the things that you need here and you can just place it there. There we go, that's it. So you can pause the screen right now here and can just make your toolbar exactly like me. I highly recommend to have at least these union subtract interaction and intersect and the difference icon here at the top. Also rotate copies and rotate and transform should be there all the time. Apart from that, there are keyboard shortcuts, so not a big deal. So let's just click on done. So now let's just proceed. One by one, we'll be taking out these designs. First of all, this perfect, almost perfect heart, and then we'll be designing this full screen icon. Okay, so let's have an artboard. First of all, just press A on your keyboard, and there we go, we have an artboard. And we will be having an artboard, so it's gonna be of size 500 by 500. That's what I have here. Now I'm gonna zoom it a little bit out. You can press Command 1 to fit all of that on your screen. And I will be placing it side by side so that we can have it. And just press Z on your keyboard and have a zoom on these two guys so that we just have these two icons here. Okay, creating icons in Sketch is the most amazing fun part. So press R on your keyboard to have a rectangle and hold down your shift key and we're gonna have a nice square. Okay, so probably let's just go for something like, you know, 300 by 300. So that's what we are having. I don't like the border, so uncheck the border at all. And you can have it just like in grayish, just like uh, kind of a wireframing stuff. Now what we'll be doing is after that, we need a circle. So you can press O on your keyboard and hold down your shift key to have a perfect circle instead of having an oval. And here's the neat trick part. First of all, get rid of this border. I don't like them at all. So your circle is of width 300. So your circle should also have the size of 300 by 300, obviously it's a circle. Okay, that's nice. Now we will be making it a little bit darker so that we can actually see it. There we go. Now what you can do is we are gonna place this circle exactly so that circle's center line matches with this, uh, this rectangle here. Okay, probably can drag and drop a little bit down here. Okay, so there we go. Make sure your lines are aligned so that we can have it. And there we go. Okay, so it's, I think we need a little bit bigger canvas here. So let's just select this canvas. Come on, we can have like a 700 by 700, a little bit bigger. Okay, so 
Now let's just select this artboard and have a little bit more space here. There we go. And I know, but design always goes like that. Sometimes you just have these stuff. Now let's just align that so that center line just matches there. There we go. So notice the circle and the rectangle are a perfect match on the center of the circle. Okay, there we go. That's one part. Now hold down your option key or alt key, whatever you call that option key and drag and drop another circle and just place it like that. Okay, notice that this is also being aligned onto the center of the circle here. And this is also aligned at the center of the circle. Now just select all of them, all the three parts, and you can just click on union. And there we go. Now we're going to fill this up with something little bit nice red, I think that is good. And then you can select this guy, click on the rotate. And then you can just rotate that like that. And we want exactly to be 45 degrees. And there we go, hit escape. And there we go, your beautiful icon is ready. Now since this icon is actually pretty big, I want it to be a little bit short because I wanted to have an artboard of 500 by 500. What I can do is I can select this and first of all, I'm gonna say Command G to group that and Command R to rename that and I'm gonna call this as Hurt, there we go. Now I can click on this scale icon and I can make it like uh, probably like 80% of that and there we go. No size intact, everything is intact and it's perfect. Now I can select my artboard and make it like something 500 by 500 and just place this guy at the center. And just to place it center, you can select that and then you have options to make it center-ish like uh, you can select it from here. There we go. And from here, okay, looks nice. Okay, or probably I can just eyeball it a little bit like that. Okay, so there we go, nice and easy. And you can also shrink it down if you wish. Just hold down your shift key so that it doesn't get distorted like that. But again, okay, there we go. Your first icon is ready. Now let's go ahead and move on to the second one. Let me just select that and put that just below here. Okay, looks nice. Now we're gonna go and move on to this icon. This icon is a little bit tricky, but I hope uh, it's not that much. So we're gonna have an artboard, let's call an artboard A, and again, we are gonna go like 500 by 500. 500, there we go. Okay, and now how do we take down this kind of, uh, it's really a complex thing, but not much complex, so walk me along with. So we're gonna press R to have a rectangle, there we go. And probably again, uh, 300 by 300, and there we go. So this is what we are having right now. Okay, looks nice. And I'm gonna get rid of this border, I don't like that. Now what I can do is I can press my option key and I can have a copy of this. And I can rotate that to somewhat like 45 degrees. There we go. Now make sure that it is at the right center. Okay, notice the grid lines are here to help us. There we go. Now we can select both of these icons or both of these shapes and click on subtract. There we go, part one is already done. Now let's hit the R key again for a rectangle and we are gonna have this bar here at the exact center, no borders, you know, I don't like them. And we're gonna have it. Now we are gonna have a copy of it, so hold down your option key and click and drag. Now release your mouse first and then your option key so that you can have it. And this guy is gonna rotate to 90 degrees or, yeah, 90 degrees would be good. So let's just get a 90, there we go. Now we want to just align it at a perfect center, there we go. Now what you want to do is you want to select both of the shapes and we want a union of this. Now what has happened just, these two bars are now just one shape, okay? And now I can select this and I can transform it to 45 degrees and there we go, it's done. It's not like perfectly just getting it there but I can increase that at any point of time, not at all a big deal. There we go, so this is all done, looking pretty decent. Now what you can do is press your R key and we are gonna hold down your Shift key as well and click and drag so we can have a circle there, probably a little bit bigger. 
And as you know, we are gonna not gonna have a border anytime. Now, what you have to do is make sure your circle, this square is selected and this shape of this is also selected. Notice it's a combined shape of X. So that is also being selected. And you have to hit your subtract here. And there we go. Our shape is here. Now I can just press my Z key and zoom it here so that I can have it. Notice it's not a line. So I can just keep on double clicking and I can just quickly, oops, command Z. <laughs> I can just improve that shape here. And I'm gonna have it. Notice I am double clicking to make it a vector and I am just aligning it. Hit enter. And now we can do same thing here. And make sure you convert that into vector because vectors are easier to play around. And uh, there we go. Fine tweeting, a little bit of that. And there we go. We can do the same thing here. Just like that. Just eyeballing it. Could have done a better job in creating these lines. But anyways, not at all a big deal. And there we go. And there we go. And that's it, command one to have it here. And there we go, looks pretty beautiful. Now, the best part is you can just select your shape. Notice there is a combined shape of this and this. Now we're gonna select both of them and we're gonna hit command G to group them together, command R. And this is actually a full screen, hit enter. And now I can just select this guy and I can change colors, a couple of stuff like that. So. And I'm gonna fill that up with something like bluish or a little bit like light like that. I'm gonna copy this color, copy that, and I'm gonna fill that up with this guy. Oops, command Z. And I'm gonna fill that up here, hit enter, and there we go. Nice and easy. Now I can combine this, uh, all of that full screen, and I can hold down my shift key and increase the size of it however I like. There we go, nice and easy, nice and easy. So it was pretty quick to design this full screen icon. I like it a lot. And at any point of time you think that this is like too much of the square or all, all these things, you can just keep on double clicking onto it and can get back into all of these things like combined shape, you can select your rectangle, you can move it a little bit like that. And this is gonna be all like that. So at any point of time you think that this should be more thick, this should be more thin you can always go and work with that. So that's pretty much it. So this is your two icons and in the upcoming few videos, I will be sharing some kind of these tricks so that you can have beautiful icons. And that's pretty much it. This is the fun we're gonna have for next few videos.